Let's talk about oxidations of alkenes now. These are reactions in which the carbon-carbon pi bond typically gets replaced with one or more bonds to oxygen, nitrogen, or more electronegative heteroatoms. And the first example is 1,2-dihydroxylation, which occurs in a syn fashion. Potassium permanganate contains a highly oxidized form of manganese, and we can see this fairly easily if we draw a Lewis structure for the permanganate anion. This anion contains manganese in the plus 7 oxidation state, and so it would love to accept an electron pair to lower its oxidation number. When we combine permanganate in the form of potassium permanganate in basic aqueous solution at low temperature, 0 degrees C, with an alkene, the manganese is reduced to a lower oxidation number, but more importantly for our purposes, the alkene is oxidized to a vicinal or 1,2 diol. This is an oxidation process because the carbon-carbon pi bond is replaced with two new carbon-oxygen bonds, and it occurs via syn addition. Both oxygens end up linked to the same side of the alkene plane. Mechanistically, we can account for the syn addition by invoking the formation of a cyclic ester called a manganate ester. To generate this intermediate, a kind of cyclic electron flow occurs. The anionic oxygen of permanganate adds to the alkene, and the alkene donates an electron pair back to the electrophilic oxygen atom in the MnO double bond. This oxygen is electrophilic because the highly oxidized manganese atom wants to accept a pair of electrons, like this. This electron flow occurs in a single elementary step, meaning that the trans configuration of the alkene is preserved in this manganate ester intermediate. Hydroxide base is needed to open this manganate ester and form the diol product. This occurs with retention of configuration so that the final vicinal diol product also contains a trans relationship between the methyl groups, which we found in the starting material as well. This reaction is syn stereospecific. One last point to make about this reaction is that these vicinal or 1,2 diols are the same products we get from ring opening of an epoxide. However, ring opening of an epoxide occurs with anti-stereospecificity. This means that if we epoxidize an alkene, for example using MCPBA, and then try to open it using something like hydroxide, the final product we'll get after acidic workup is the other diastereomer, the diastereomer in which the two methyl groups are cis rather than trans, as we've drawn them. These two methods are complementary in the sense that epoxidation followed by opening leads to one diastereomer of the vicinal diol, while syn dihydroxylation leads to the other diastereomer of the vicinal diol. Our method of choice depends on the stereochemistry we want in the product relative to the starting stereochemistry of the alkene.